Greetings to you, my name is B from B Love and Crystals. Today we're diving into the Teddy Bear of Wisdom by yours truly and family. So this one we've been working on too for a while, a long time, and um, I got bored with it. And then when it was time to order our batch, I really wanted to uh, whip this up. I like to start things and then I, I you know, stop doing them and then I, I get a new wave and I start it up again and then I have all these different ideas and then I get tired of, you know, working on them and then I put them on the back burner. But this was one of the, one, this was one of the decks that was, uh, it was almost done, we just needed to make it prettier. So if you have our insert card, you'll see that this is what it looks like. That's the backing, that, that's what it looked like before and now here it is. So you can, yeah, it's been through a few makeovers so we always wanna make sure it's just right before we print. So let's dive in. So I'm so excited. First of all, teddy bears. Okay, so it comes in an organza bag with some goodies in there. Like we whip up some goodie bags. My daughter and I, we, you know, we have fun. And um, it comes in beautifully gift, gifted wrap, gift wrap paper. So I, we have rolls and rolls of gift wrap. We just love color. We love patterns. We love making things pretty and fun and giving you happy mail that you will love you would love to open or unbox or an envelope. So um, it's like a party in a bag or a party in a box, party in an envelope. And you always want it to feel like Christmas or a birthday when you open up one of our decks. So, all right, let's dive in. So this has 53 cards. This is MPC, makeplayingcards.com quality. And this is um, Teddy Bear Wisdom. We have wisdom from teddy bears who have been around 119 years, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's way over 100 years, so 100 something plus years. But what have they learned along the way? What golden wisdom of nuggets have they accumulated over the years? So all in all, I just channeled my intuition and um, just you know looked at each, each bear and then figured out what I felt that they wanted to tell us. And so, you know, I did a little bit of research too. So, you know, a little bit of everything came into this deck and my husband created the backing. Um, I, should show, oh, I should show you the picture he actually uh, whipped up. He um, drew the backing and for the first, the first round and then he fixed it up. And now it has a little butterfly here and a little fence here. He really went to town. I was gone for like a few hours. I came back and he whipped something completely up. It was gonna have little uh, school blocks, like ABC blocks, but he, he wasn't feeling that. So I was like, okay, I actually like this better. And then we added, you know, the color is pink hues to match the, the, the pink flowers and butterflies. We have assorted colors. We have white, we have purple, like we put a little bit of purple in there. Um, Photoshopped a lot of stuff. We, you know, my husband has uh, decades of graphic design magic. so. He likes to change things up a bit. This is available on Etsy, eBay, and PayPal invoicing for $29.99 with free USA shipping. Yes, that's right, you heard it. It's way cheaper via pay PayPal invoices. If you would like yours, please do hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and if you know my email address, then hit me up on that too. I'm not gonna put it here in the video. What wisdom do they wanna pass on to us? So I'll zoom you all the way. Look at my cute little bears here. Penelope and Barry, or should I call her Panda, Panda Berry. Let's begin. Create and capture new moments. If you can't beat them, join them. Okay, okay, so you've heard some of these phrases. Other ones I, you know, whipped up with my intuition. Um, like I said, I did research. Um, operate from a high frequency. Some goodbyes lead to happy hellos. I actually came up with that one. Um, I came up with a lot of them, but you know, sometimes when you're when I'm stuck, I need inspiration. So I'm like, okay, what's a good phrase that um, sounds like this? And then I'll, I try to re, you know reformat it, <laughs> rephrase it, and then I'm like, oh, and then I get inspired, and then I change it again, and then put my own words. Teamwork makes the dream work. You know that you know you've heard of that before. Use your bag of tricks. Apologize like you mean it. You know, these are common sense, but still, sometimes we need reminders. 
Always keep it real. That's the actual real bear. We had to go with the realness here. Always keep it real. That's right. Always. Attack your fears. Knight of Swords-ish. Yes, absolutely. So now we're in the white flowers and the white butterflies. Break the mold. We're not cookie cutter soldiers here. We're not, we're not all the same. We're all different. We're unique. We're special in our own ways. We can break the mold, get out of our comfort zone, or break out of what people are trying to put us in, right? Captain your own ship. Don't stuff your feelings. Keep your den tidy. I tried my hardest to find meaning or uh, fun, you know, phrases that had the word bear or den or yeah, it was very, very hard. <laughs> and sometimes it didn't fit. So there's probably two words that had to do with bear and den. And everything else just didn't rhyme. They didn't roll off the tongue. So I just kept, kept it simple. Share your heart. Simplify your life. Start your own tradition. That's right. Do your own thing. If you want to eat Thanksgiving two nights before actual Thanksgiving day, then go for it. You're never too small to make an impact. Express gratitude. Now we're in the purples. Gossip dims your light. See, some of these, you know, you, you've heard of them before. It's always good to have those reminders and... Um, yeah, it's just common sense wisdom, you know? Keep your plans. And this, these, you know, have been around for many years, these phrases, just like the bears, perfect fitting. Keep your plans and play dates. I came up with that. I hate when people cancel on me, and so does my kid. And I try not to do the same. Life is what you make of it, that's right. Only prove to yourself, that's, I came up with this one because we don't always have to justify ourselves to everybody else or explain ourselves, right? We can just say, nope, and keep moving. We don't have to say, no, but it's because, you know, I just, I, no, no, that's it. That's all I have for you right now, no. And, you know, and also proving, if you, if you say that you can uh, eat healthier or work out, don't do it to prove to other people. Do it to prove to yourself. Discipline yourself in that way. Show class and good character, absolutely. And show tact, right? Be respectful. You are who you hang out with. We know that saying. Being creative is a lifestyle. Oh, I actually saw that on a box somewhere. I'm like, that's freaking genius. It's a total lifestyle. It's not a phase or, you know, something to pass time yeah I guess it is but it's more of who you are to the core creative souls being creative is a lifestyle give without expectations yet yeah, this is something my mom taught me I will never get sick of hearing this yes give because you want to give not because you expect anything in return focus on the here and now be present expand your horizons look he, look, he looks like he's on the pier He's like, yep, I'm ready. I'm ready for that boat to come. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to figure it out. And I'll ask questions while I'm almost there. Expand your mind. Have fun. Try something new. Ordinary beings. Ordinary beings can do extraordinary things. I love that. He's, like, very curious. He's not like everybody else either. He's like, I don't care. I don't care if this is a... a, a Offense I'm not supposed to go through. I'm just gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna see what's on the other side. Rest and reset. So this nose was actually brown, and we, like I said, we do a lot of um, well, my husband does a lot of Photoshop magic and gr graphic design stuff, and so he tries to match everything. Tie up the loose ends. This was green. We made it blue. That's right. Don't leave any leaves unturned. Take baby steps. Stand up for yourself. This one I found love, oh my gosh. And it goes great with this tablecloth, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it's so fun and youthful and happy-go-lucky energy. You just wanna look at it all day. Find the reason to smile. Who will you smile? Who will you share your smile with today? We're into the yellows now. So we were in the blues, now we're in the yellows. 
feed your mind with positive thoughts. Humility brings true success. Learn all that you can. Silence is very sweet. There's that bear word. <laughs> Take turns listening. And don't pretend you're listening. Actually do intently listen. Listen to your people. Listen to what, people, what someone's trying to tell you. Empathize with them. Think big or go home. I should have said go home or go home, but we can keep it simple. Think big. Words can either hurt or harm. They can help you, empower you, or they can tear you down. Now we're into the orange flowers. From oppression comes power. From pain comes power sometimes. From the Tao moments comes the star, healing, wish fulfillment, a new, new cycle, feeling like you can finally heal and move on. Ask and you shall receive. Sometimes, sometimes, be careful what you ask for sometimes. <laughs> Hold yourself accountable, absolutely. Kindness goes a long way. Leave grudges behind. Share your story. Health is the greatest gift. And the last one, the destination is the amazing journey. And that's funny how we're ending it, that that's amazing. We went through a beautiful ride here with all these cards. I forgot these cards were on the side. I was doing thumbnail pictures for my um, Etsy. So this also has commitment leads to results. Be one with nature and come out, come out with whoever you are, whoever. That's right. Whoever you are, come out. Not wherever, but who. Who are you? Come out. So that you know what this is talking about, right? Come out of the closet if you need to. So now I'm going to shuffle and... Um, See how, show you how they look. So let's see, let's do a collective for the awesome, awesome VLC community. Thank you so much. If you like this deck and you would like to work with it, and if you have any of our other decks, we appreciate you so much. You know, I'm often misunderstood in person. You know, sometimes I trip over my words, or if there's a lot of awkward silence, I just talk and talk and talk and just to fill up the awkward silence and you know people might be like man she talks a lot or she doesn't make no sense so yeah I'm often misunderstood and I'm very introverted I'm an extrovert introverted extrovert I'm an extrovert when I need to be professionally but mo most most of the time I'm an introvert so anyway um the fact that people can vibe with our decks knowing that I am often misunderstood in person and nobody really gets me except for my family of course um, it's just, a, you know, and close friends, of course. It makes me so happy to know that people would want to, you know, work with our decks. And a lot of people talk good things about them because it, it's very relatable, these, these decks. I channel and channel and channel and do my best to come up with the best words. And I hope that it shows. So let's figure this out. Wow, look at these beautiful, beautiful cards. So we have... The first one here is gossip dims your light, give without expectations, stand up for yourself, and use your bag of tricks. So um, this can be talking about maybe a little bit of a, you know, back and forth or, ban you know, banter, like um, you or anybody, not specifically one person, it can be just a group of us, um, or maybe someone close to us, we're entertaining gossip around this, we're, we're you know, you know, instigating it in a sense or just saying yeah really oh tell me more and um, that kind of like can turn the energy around from negative from positive to negative so try not try to refrain from listening to gossip and or entertaining it or welcoming it even if you're not really talking bad about somebody or spreading things that you've been hearing you are still taking part in it um, if you're listening to it and you're you know egging people on to tell you more information everybody loves drama but sometimes we don't need to get in the business and um and that i feel this whole gossip dims your light with the stand up for yourself card it can say um you know another thing is that maybe someone's talking bad about you and you're like oh, i don't want to hear this this is bs but this is saying you don't have to entertain it but you can or you should you know defend yourself you should uh, stand up for what you believe is right. You don't have to um, 
partake in the, the drama, but you can, sit, you know, set people straight and say, blah, 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 say what you feel, and then keep it moving. Um, and then you have here, give, wow, give without expectations, and then use your bag of tricks. So, oh, wow, this is saying you have a lot at your disposal. Maybe share some of it and give because you want to, not because you expect someone to do the same, or you expect, you know, cookies and, and kudos and, and appraise, appraisal. It's just saying, you know, um, if you have more than enough, then share it, whether that's wisdom, wisdom, or that's actual uh, something tangible, or that's, you know, a helping hand in some way, a shoulder. If you have a shoulder someone can cry on, use your bag of tricks. That can be your healing power or just that, you know, listening. You listening to someone can be someone's healing um, remedy, something that they need to, you know, at that, that time you can help them in that way. And yeah, you maybe this is also saying that you have more than you, what you th are, you know, you have more than what you know. You are more capable, more strong, more lucky, more fortunate, more abundant than you are, than you know. And, and I could say that the abundance is coming towards you. Like you got this big bag of beautiful gifts and you got this bag of beautiful gifts. So maybe abundance is coming towards you and maybe you're gonna have m way more than enough and maybe you're gonna wanna share it. Or maybe pass on how the other person can become so wealthy and lucky to be like you and have the stuff that you have. How, what did you do to get all this stuff, all, all these beautiful blessings, surprises, gifts, skills, abilities, um, wisdom. Maybe you're very lucky to have all these beautiful wisdom pieces that you can pass on. It's good to share it. And how can you help somebody else acquire that knowledge, that wisdom? And, and master their self. So, and that's what I'm getting. I know there's a mouthful. Wow, I pulled a lot of cards, that's why. Can't shut up sometimes. So this is the Teddy Bear Wisdom. Let me know if you like it. You can leave a comment below. You don't have to um, say if you're gonna buy it or not. You, you know, I just like to show all the reviews that I, um, you know, I love de doing deck reviews. And of course, from the ones from our collection. And I can't wait to, you know, share it with the world. That's what they're here for. So much love and thank you so much for checking this video out.